He said, a lot of people don't understand and know that about me, being that he's strategic and he thinks before he reacts. He goes, a lot of people don't understand and know that about me, which is fine. You say people don't know you, James. You know that. He says they don't know me at all, and I'm fine with that, which I, I probably think he's he's not really fine with that. So who is he? You know what I mean? Like, Because he, he's, he's such an entertaining player to see. And he's also a guy that may go into the Hall of Fame. Well, he's going to go in the Hall of Fame, but he may go into the Hall of Fame, you know, ringless and with a litany of teams that he used to be on that spent, you know, a lot of them Maury, you know, associated that gave up so much for him to bring him in only to just be done with him at some point. And then, you know, he shows up in Los Angeles, refers to himself as a system. Um, and it, it, it again, it's just, I don't know who he is. So who is he, Sam? What do you got for me? Uh, I mean, to that question, Rich, like when I said people don't know you, it's a funny thing to say because I don't know James. <laughs> I know a little more than most media, but not much. And 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 the insight I think that I was kind of being driven by there was that when you talk to people who do know him extremely well, they actually highlight the fact that d- does he care about what the public thinks? He's human, of course, to some degree. I'm sure he does. But he is wired differently. He's not a social media guy. He's not. I mean, he can go viral and and it'll be viral for a day. And James Harden is not going to notice unless one of his people decides it's worth bringing up to him. Um, that's how he functions. He doesn't clap back on, you know, he's not Kevin Durant uh, on Twitter going at everybody who's got something to say for him. He's different. Um, I think I would argue I mean, I know I'm subjective because I'm in the media like you. Yep. I think strategy wise, it probably has not served him very well to be disconnected like that. Um, but that is his personality. Um, the other aspect of this, and it's funny because I, I almost can't believe I'm saying this out loud, but it is my opinion. Like, I, I can't remember an athlete where, okay, free trade demands in four years. I almost don't need the context. Like the legacy is going to be what it is, right? Like that's extraordinary behavior that we've not really ever seen from a star player. But then if you unpack all three of them, and I'm always a, a big time sucker for context, like I'm, I, it's a, just, it's a debate about how he got here in, in terms of the, the reasoning and you're in Houston and, you know, Daryl Morey, Mike D'Antoni bounces first, then goes Daryl Morey. Uh, next thing, you know, the walls are coming in on what you built previously Everybody you did it with is gone. Doesn't mean you couldn't have stuck around, but at the time I did understand why he was ready for a new chapter. You go to Brooklyn and you've got everything from Kyrie Irving not taking the vaccination to you know drama left and right that had nothing to do with him. I kind of understood it at that time. And the and the problem with this Philly move is that, you know, I you could unpack the Sixers thing and say, man, if it's true that you got promised a max and then they iced you out, if it's true that all these different things happen. You can kind of see it. He he's got to know at this point. I don't think even the most open interview is going to clean any of that up. Like all these trade demands have led to this conclusion from the media and the public that he's he's a malcontent, and that's you know that's a narrative that I'm not sure he's going to be able to to flip. And basketball wise, I'm I'm not bullish on what they have over there. I don't see them really clicking and contending on an elite level. Um, so I think it. Excuse me. It kind of just is what it is. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.